Hi, my name is Lata Brouwer and you are watching Violin Lounge TV. In this episode, I'm going to teach you how to maintain a good bow hold while bowing smoothly. I got a question from a viewer. Abelardo Campana writes, really like your videos. Do you have any advice on how to avoid my right hand to slide up the bow while bowing? My problems with my right hand are that my pinky slips off the top of the bow and also my hand slowly moves up the bow while playing violin. Perhaps you watched my other videos and you heard me saying things about a flexible bow hold that you should move your wrist and fingers while bowing but then the bow might slip out of your hand. What's important in a bow hold is that the contact points remain the same and that you use your knuckles and wrist as a spring system. Your bow hold might also slip because you have your arm and your wrist too high and then it slips up like that. The solution is to lower your elbow, lower your wrist, so you really use the weight of your arm that also gives you a full sound and that the contact points are almost glued to the bow. In this way, it's very hard to slip up the bow like that. Also while practicing, you might want to place a clothespin right here before your index finger. So every time you want to slide up the bow, you hit it. It's not meant to correct your bow hold, but just to give you a little reminder when you're sliding up the bow. And then a little exercise you can do wherever and whenever you want. And that is just to grab a ballpoint or something. And then you can practice maintaining the contact points while moving your fingers and wrist. It's a lot lighter and easier to do this with a pencil. You'll notice that when you come back to the violin, it is easier to maintain that good bow hold while still relaxing your hand and bowing smoothly. In summary, here are the three tips. The, the first tip was to not hold your arm too high, but to really use the weight of your arm. The second tip was to use a clothespin to give you a little reminder every time that you slide up the bow. And the third tip was to practice maintaining the contact points and the bow hold while moving your wrist and fingers. Let me know in the comments which tip worked best for you. And if you have questions, I'm happy to answer them in the comments. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in another video. Bye bye!